the thing they don't tell you is that the way Frontline is packaged is it forces you to actually waste money. I don't see any YouTubers talking about this. Um, I don't even think Frontline wants you to know about this. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. <laughs> So as most people know, fleas and ticks are everywhere. Grass, trees, shrubs, everywhere. They can transmit um, a lot of diseases and illnesses um, just through a single bite. So essentially, I mean, you can even get infestations where um, it can run rampant in your home. So you, you, you wanna keep that away. And the time that you wanna start treating your dogs is generally, we start around four months, you know, preventing and giving them protection against fleas and ticks. And you're gonna do that essentially for the rest of their lives and keeping your dogs protected throughout the year is, is going to vary depending on where you live in the world if you live in um you know where where we're at you know up north um it's really going to be like spring and summer um and parts of fall that you're going to want to go ahead and treat and prevent the fleas and ticks um as well as if you live in like a tropical area you live further south it's always warm and humid um you're going to probably want to treat all year round. So let's get right to it. So the tip, the trick is frontline. So wait, 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 wait. Before you jump the gun and say, I've already used frontline before, I've had it, um, I've purchased it, I've heard about it before. Most people have, um, but I guarantee you didn't know the way that we're about to use it now. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, the reason why we use frontline is because, I mean, it really is far superior than a lot of the other brands, in my opinion. The main ingredient is Fipronio. For example, Advantix uses um, Imidacloprid, which is, um, it, it's weaker. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, it's weaker and it kind of washes off. Um, Fipronio is far superior, as well as Fipronio is cumulative in the sebaceous glands um, when applied, which means that as you put it on over time, it becomes more and more effective and does a better and better job with each application. So the other large active ingredient in Frontline is S-methoprine. It's an IGR, which is an insect growth regulator. And of the two drugs I just mentioned, I mean, Fipronil though is the most important. That's why you wanna make sure that you go with Frontline Plus because the Fipronio is the, the main ingredient that actually kills the fleas and ticks. It doesn't just prevent them, like it just doesn't stop certain stages in the cycle, the flea and tick cycle, it actually kills them. So that's why you wanna make sure that when you get it, you get Frontline Plus, so that it has the Fipronio in it. So one of the biggest things as to why, you know, breeders and people who have a lot of dogs shy away from Frontline is because of the expense. For um, a six month supply like this, um, can run you about a hundred bucks. So that comes out to like 16 bucks a month, but let's just say you have 10, let's say you have 20 dogs. Um, that can be an upward of about $320 a month, um, just to treat all your dogs, um, for the fleas and ticks and things like that. It can get quite expensive. It could get quite pricey. So, I mean, that, that's like a car payment, you know, just in, in prevention. So in order to, you know, have our front line on pennies to the dollar, um, to really see some big savings and, and make it effective and efficient uh, for your program or whatever the case may be, um, you're gonna need to do a little bit of math. So you're gonna find that front line is precisely dosed to be administered at 0.1675 mLs per 5.5 uh, pounds of body weight. If you round this off, that means that for every five pounds your dog weighs, you're gonna need about 0.17 mLs of a frontline product on his back um, for flea and tick prevention. But the thing they don't tell you is that the way frontline is packaged is it forces you to actually waste money. So just to give you guys an idea, an illustration, um, let's say uh, really where the savings come in is, let's say you had a 46 pound dog and you buy the 2.68 ml size of uh, frontline and it tells you the dog gets the full 2.68 ml size um you would have just wasted about 1.2 ml of product because a 46 pound dog actually only needs 1.4 ml of product and you just dumped the whole 2.68 ml on him um in other words the 2.68 size of prepackaged frontline is for dogs 45 all the way up to 88 pounds 
So at the end of the day, the amount capable of handling the maximum size of dog is 88 pounds and yours was only 46 pounds. So not only is it clear that uh, if you buy according to the frontline prefabricated dosing, you're actually wasting a lot of product but it's equally clear that there's a wide margin of safety in Fipronio. Um, because essentially, if you're giving a dog that's 46 pounds the same amount that's a dog that's 88 pounds, um, there must be some, it must be safe if, you're, if they're telling you to double dose your dogs. So that's really where the savings come in. So if you have a large yard of dogs, a lot of dogs, it makes no sense to buy the front line by their advertised weights and, and by the size. Um, instead, buy a six month supply of the larger size, which is uh, 4.02 ml for uh, 89 to 132 pound dogs and dump each of the four ml vials together like in a shot glass or in a container like this. Um, the six vials of 4.02 ml for Pronio will give you about 24.12 ml frontline product. Now, if you remember the true dosage for frontline is 0.1675 ml per 5.5 pounds of dog weight. So you can take a syringe now and exactly draw out exactly what you need uh, for the dog according to you know the, the, the dosage that I just gave you. So as you can see, I took all the six um, individual packets and went ahead and put them in a large giant syringe like this. Um, it's right at about the 25 to that 24 mark. And essentially what I'll do is I'll put it in a container like this and you know, put it in a dark place. This essentially will treat 15 45 pound dogs or it'll treat 24 30 pound dogs. And this is just off a supply for six jumbo dogs. So imagine being able to treat 24 dogs with this. Um, even if you don't have uh, 24 dogs for one month. So another example is say you only have four dogs. This, this will treat those four dogs for six months. So the savings is tremendous. Um, I mean, you basically essentially, depending on how many dogs you get, you can get this one packet and this will probably treat your, your, all your dogs for, for, for possibly a year, maybe two years. It depends on how many dogs you have. So the savings is tremendous. Um, so like I said, I highly recommend this is a great tip and trick. I'm going to go ahead and give some to the dogs now. And then the rest, like I said, I'll, I'll bottle up put aside and use when I need again. So I was able to take the, the six vials of the front line and I put it in these two red top tubes. Like I said, it keeps it sterile. Um, so what I'm gonna essentially do now is we have one of the dogs, we're gonna go ahead and give her some of the front line. So all I do is I go ahead and I'll go ahead and inject into the, the red top like this. And since she's 30 pounds, we're gonna wanna go ahead and take out approximately one cc. So I draw back a little bit. There we go, we got one CC right at the one line. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the syringe and now we got one CC worth. The rest, I can go ahead and store, put it aside. And what's so interesting too is, um, I mean, this, this one CC um, is gonna go ahead and treat her, she's 30 pounds. But essentially, let's just say I had one dog, for example. Um, that six month supply that we bought for the jumbo dog, say I had one dog that weighed 30 pounds, this is gonna last us about two years, which is, I mean, you asked me, the savings is insane. So let's just go ahead and throw this on her real quick and we'll be good to go. Come here, Mercy. So this is one of the house dogs, Mercy. So all we're gonna go ahead and do, hey, what's up, guy? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, start at, you know, up here at the neck where the shoulders are and go ahead and just bring it down, all the way down her spine like this. And straight, you're gonna try to make it in a straight line. And there you go. And there was my little helper and she'll be good for a whole month. So long story short, one CC, one ML will treat 30, a 30 pound dog. So if you guys want the full breakdown, the full dosage charting that I have, um, it'll be on breedershacks.com. You can go to the information center and you can click on the article, um, this article here, which, we, which will be for flea and ticks. So you click on the article and I'll give you the dosage for, you know, going up to, you know, 10 pound dog, 15 pound dog, so on and so forth. But like I said, essentially um, 0 0.17 ml per five pounds of dog weight. And you could just do the math or jump on breedershacks.com and, you know, get the dosage chart that way as well. So I hope this idea helps some people because you need to use this product if you live anywhere where flea and ticks may be. So, I mean, it, it really is a must have. So frontline should be applied to your dogs every single month during the flea and tick season. 
um, which is generally between the months like March through September. In most areas, I mean, I suggest you begin the process in February throughout. Um, so before the ticks actually come out, um, you'll you'll have a good buildup of this chemical in your dogs. I'll nip it in the butt before the fleas and ticks can even get to your dogs. And it's also good to continue um, to treat for fleas and ticks one month after the flea and tick season, just to make sure that you've covered any late stragglers, um, any eggs that may have just been erupting, things like that, um, and apply the liquid throughout the fur and apply it directly to the skin of your dogs, gradually running it down the spine. Make sure the dog is, is clean and dirt free um, after you know maybe a bath and they're dried off is ideal, and apply the product and make sure that it stays that way for at least 24 hours after putting it on. So what I'll do is after putting it on them, I'll usually do it like at night in the afternoon, put them in their crate or in their kennel um, throughout the night. So then hopefully, you know, as much product stays on as possible. Um, and then obviously the next day, you know, go about your business. So make sure you like this video if you found that it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you find these videos useful. Um, and make sure you hit that notification button because it seems like some of our videos are getting suppressed on the YouTube channel. So um, I hope the information was helpful, useful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.